Hello everyone. In the previous class, we have solved one question on infinite duration sequence and the sequence was x of n equal to a to the power n u of n and the z transform was 1 by 1 minus a z inverse which can also be written as z by z minus a and the region of convergence was mod z is greater than a and this sequence was the causal sequence because u of n was multiplied with the function a to the power n today we will solve one more question on infinite duration sequence and the question is x of n equal to minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 so the question is determine the z transform and roc of discrete time sequence given by x of n equal to minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 so let us solve this question we know from z transform z transform of x of n is equal to x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power minus n x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite put the value of x of n the function minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 z to the power minus n now this unit step function is a shifted version of unit step function so let us solve let us draw the graph for it first this axis is n time axis and this one is u of n now we know for unit step function u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 or you can say from 0 to infinite it is equal to 1 the magnitude is equal to 1 to plot u of minus n minus 1 you need to first plot the time reversal function of u of n time reversal version of u of n and that will be n u of minus n and this is exactly the mirror image of the function u of n with respect to y axis this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus infinite to zero this one this one this is also called as folding operation or time reversal operation of the function now we need to plot u of minus and minus one this is n this is u of minus n minus one so one thing that has to be remember is u of minus n minus 1 can be plotted by shifting the u of minus n function one unit to the left side. So this will be minus infinite to minus 1 at 0 there will there will be zero so this one is called your folding plus shifting operation so the function u of minus n minus 1 will lie between minus infinite to minus 1 so the limit will be minus infinite to minus 1 
so we can say u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 1 for n lies between minus infinite to minus 1 and is equal to 0 for n lies between 0 to infinite now putting the value of u of minus n minus 1 on the formula we have x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinite to minus 1 and summation n is equal to 0 to infinite minus infinite to minus 1 the function is minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 z to the power minus n plus minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 z to the power minus n now between 0 to infinite the value of u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 0 so this function reduces to 0 and between minus infinite to minus 1 u of minus n minus 1 is equal to 1 so finally the function reduces to n is equal to minus infinite to minus 1 minus b to the power n z to the power minus n now this can also be written as summation n is equal to infinite to 1 b to the power minus n z to the power n we have changed the sign of limit we have changed the sign of n in the function we have taken the minus out of the summation minus summation n is equal to infinite to 1 or you can say 1 to infinite whatever b inverse z to the power n so that a gp series formula can be put here so this can be written as minus minus <coughs> b inverse z to the power 1 plus b inverse z to the power 2 b inverse z to the power infinite now this particular power series is in the form of gp series only thing is we do we have one term missing that is b inverse z to the power 0 which is equal to 1 and that term is missing so we can solve this question we can solve this power series by two methods the first one is add the missing term 1 b inverse z to the power 1 b inverse z to the power 2 b inverse z to the power infinite as you have added 1 subtract 1 here now from here to here this is a infinite gp series and we know for an infinite gp series the power series the power series converges at 1 by 1 minus b inverse z and 1 subtracted here so this can further be solved as one minus b inverse z this is one minus one plus b inverse z one minus is one minus at the outside one and one cancel out which is equal to negative of b inverse z by 1 minus b inverse z which can also be written as b inverse z by b inverse z minus 1 as negative comes inside the bracket 
which is further can be written as 1 by 1 minus b z inverse when you divide b inverse z in the numerator and denominator you will get this result so finally x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus b z inverse which can also be written as z by z minus b so this is the z transform of infinite duration sequence given by minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 let us find out the region of convergence the region of convergence can be calculated from the power series which is converges at 1 by 1 minus b inverse z and this particular series converges with condition mod of b inverse z less than 1 which is equal to z by b less than 1 which can also be written as mod z less than b so region of convergence is mod z less than b let us plot the region of convergence on z plane real z imaginary z draw a hypothetical rectangular box and draw a circle with radius b now according to the roc condition the shading region will be inside the circle with radius b so this will be the roc so in this way we can calculate the z transform and region of convergence for an infinite duration sequence now one more thing we have to remember is that the function u of minus n minus 1 is a non causal sequence so two things we could conclude we can conclude that for a non causal sequence the region of convergence is always inside the circle with radius b if the function is minus b to the power n u of minus n minus 1 and the region of convergence is outside the circle with some radius if it is a causal sequence one more thing we need to remember is no doubt we have the same result similar type of result of z transform but region of convergence should always be calculated from the power series which we have calculated here Uh, the first method which we have discussed that how to calculate the gp series by adding or subtracting the deficiency term in the power series the second method is if we have the power series minus b inverse z to the power 1 b inverse z to the power 2 b inverse z to the power infinite do one thing take b inverse z common throughout the series from the series b inverse z the remaining term will be 1 plus b inverse z to the power 1 b inverse z to the power 2 up to b inverse z to the power infinite now the sequence or this power series will be in perfect gp series and the result will be 1 by 1 minus b inverse z b inverse z outside which can be written as b inverse z 
by b inverse z minus 1 if you take negative this negative 1 inside which can further be written as further be written as 1 by 1 minus b z inverse which is z by z minus b so these are the two methods with the help of which you can determine the z transform of the power series thank you